Okay, is this thing filming? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so this has been a short visit to Project Improbable. I've just been here for just over two weeks. Um, I had to postpone my original departure due to some medical issues, but uh, I'm better now. That's a big relief. So, I will try to explain what's been going on, or some of it. I have been working on the inside quite a bit, which you can see here. If you saw the pictures, which you can look up on the website, this whole transom thing was modified. It took some extra wood and weight out of there, and that's been all prepped. We got in the upper rudder bearing housing. Well, that's the rudder bearing itself, and the shaft is going to slide up through that. It's not glued in, it's just sitting there. The deck reinforcement's been done on both top and bottom. All the service has been prepped, and we've got it in the first coat of paint. On the whole transom, has got one coat on it, and I just put in another coat uh, up in these corners and the back side of the back here. It's hard to show. Uh, okay, so this corner took an enormous amount of preparation. There was about two dozen holes filled with epoxy in there. It was very rough, difficult to sand. And uh, it's actually quite smooth and should look great after the second coat. You can see the wood soaking up a fair bit of this first coat. Um, but this will come out great. And some people have commented. What's the point of painting this stuff so nicely way back in the back of the boat? Well, it's not here now, but this is where the back berth is. It's sort of like the aft cabin my dad put in here, and we're going to keep that. So I'll be staring at this stuff for the remainder of my days. And so if I don't do a good job, I'll be wishing that I did. So anyway, so I'll get a second coat, and it'll look nice and smooth and white and all the little wood silky parts. We'll get squared away. So that this has been a big project inside back here. I've also been working on uh, the bow roller, which I'll do a separate video on. Stainless steel fitting. I modified my dad's uh, original bow roll. Well, it wasn't original. It's when he had modified. Made it. it was way too heavy in my book, so I cut that apart and drilled a bunch of lightning holes in it. And I'll probably show that in a separate video. And so, in addition to that project. Let's go up on deck here. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, climb, 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 climb. Oof. Okay, so this teak deck, I had to do more epoxy filling. I don't know if you can see these little, these little holes here. We injected epoxy into any voids that existed under the teak, which you discover by tapping or rubbing. And so bunch of more injection to ensure it will never soak up water, or hopefully never. And then we added more of the teak seether on it. We've also primered those winch islands so that they won't get UV damage in the sun. Those were just, I don't know, the epoxy. And epoxy doesn't hold up too well in the sun. We keep these little old plywood covers on here so the hornets don't live in the cockpit cubbies. There's cockpit cubbies in there. Hornets love to build nests in there. And uh, oh, here is the upper rudder bearing and the deck reinforcement is primered. That's, that'll all get finished off later. So 